As you can see, I am surrounded by a sea of negatives. No, I'm not just talking about my own lifestyle or my personality. These are all the film negatives that I have shot over the last five years. So I thought I'd have a bit of a clear out. And on my clear out, I've found this, which is the very first film roll that I ever shot. It was a test roll that I put through my Pentax K1000 when I used to live in Canada. The date on it is September 2017. And I have all my negatives. Um, I believe it's a Fuji 200 stock. I couldn't confirm exactly what it is. None of these are actually scanned onto my computer. So I'm gonna get these scanned and go back in time to when I was cool if that was ever a time. I just got my neighbors hammering next door. So I'm probably just gonna record this in a little bit. So scans are done and I have to put my hand up and admit I scanned really, really low quality uh, pictures. And I don't know why. Hopefully you can't tell the bad quality, but it's good just to, to have a look since I've, since I've had them. I don't think I've seen these photographs for five years or so because when I got them developed, they printed them for me and gave me the negatives. So I used to live in Canada in a little place in British Columbia called Whistler. I worked there for a couple of years. This is obviously taken in September, so this is what they call dead season, where the summer's gone and there's no snow, so it's just that little middle pack where nothing really good is going on there. But yeah, here we go. The first image, obviously after I'd looked at a YouTube video and loaded this camera for the first time ever, this was a photograph of my probably like $12 bag from Amazon, a camera bag might add. And a little kind of, I think it's a Cronenberg drink, but I think it's like a wheat, a wheat beer version of it. I think it was called something like Blanc or something. I'd have to find it to, but yeah, I used to love that beer, jeez. It's quite interesting I've got a beer because when I scanned these, I thought this was at like six o'clock in the morning. Clearly wasn't since I was drinking. So this must be blue hour sunset which is crazy that there's that much like mist over the lakes so this is uh, what we called oh so this is what we called lost lake and it was beautiful in the summer you know everyone just came down to this lake and just hung out swam drank everyone would swim to these little uh, like platforms this is a blast from the past, absolutely a blast from the past. Oh, you can tell that these, oh, these are really bad scans. I'm so embarrassed by them. So I, I don't think I really knew how the light meter works in the, I was shooting in a Pentax K1000 and I maybe wasn't entirely too sure because these are like, they're dark, but they're like super bright, but I would have changed the lenses on that clearly for two photographs for some really weird reason. Just for anybody who wants to know about my Canada trip. I actually made like a fake interview documentary style, which is kind of like a, a collaboration of footage that I've just collected over the years, but never did anything with. And I didn't really film much when I was there. So I'm just going to give a quick brief introduction to why I was shooting this camera at the time. So I'm a videographer and I film everything. And obviously where I was living in Canada at the time, was just so beautiful but I had nothing to film so I turned to my camera and started taking photographs digital photographs and I would come back from like a day out with 600 odd digital photographs and 20 of them would have been at the same thing it used to drive me crazy because I'd come home look at those like 600 photographs and go I can't be bothered this is not the workflow which I want to do I do not want to sit and figure out which one of the 20 photographs I liked the best of the exact same thing. I couldn't tell the difference. So I, I just had this 
thing in my head was like, I just, I want an analog camera. I want to see if they still do old cameras and just capture the moment. But that was just the start of the journey. I really wanted to just start capturing real moments rather than the digital ones, which just felt fake, which I haven't got any problem with people who do digital photographs. I just, it just isn't for me. Oh my God, look at my scanner. I really need to clean my scanner, probably. Oh, do you know what? For someone who's not a photographer and the first role, I think that's a pretty good picture. Like the reflections here, like obviously I can clear up all of these dust and whatever the hell that is. But yeah, these are, that actually looks pretty cool. This seems to be like a staple shot that I always tend to take. I don't know why I like taking photographs of my feet. I do it, I film my feet when I'm walking. I do all sorts of stuff. Them shoes though, ooh. I specifically remember them shoes being incredibly too small for my feet. And I did go on to travel like Central America and Mexico very shortly after all of these photographs. And I do remember them shoes were not comfortable at the end of it. They went very quickly. Oh, wow. Incredibly out of focus and incredibly dirty. I'm not even sure that's scanned correctly. That looks like, huh, I'm gonna need to rescan that one. Oh man, I really couldn't take a straight photograph, could I? Hey, uh, there's the mountains right there. No snow. I wasn't fully aware of how blessed I was to live in such a beautiful place. And I wasn't into photography. And I got into photography when I left, which was a couple of months after these photographs. I actually really like that photograph. Like the... Oh, I need to rescan that anyway. But if I straighten it up a little bit, the, the symmetry on that's actually pretty cool. Oh man, I could definitely tell that I didn't have composition back then either that was just do you know i guarantee you when i took that picture i thought i was being super cool and super arty i've just caught off the side of my eye I've, so this is my i'm filming at the moment and this is what i've just seen outside <laughs> it's my cat rue just kind of just waiting for me to let her in anyways where was i at oh yeah bad composition ah it's okay it's cool Everyone's got to start somewhere, haven't they? I highly advise anybody to go back on your old photos and reflect on these, like... Because it's interesting to see uh, how far you've come. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so now... <laughs> now she's there. I literally just turned around and she's just stood there. <laughs> this was my uh, partner at the time. And very shortly after this, we went and traveled Central America together and then moved to Australia together for a little bit. This is dirty. and I don't even know what it is. There's obviously something. I had no idea what I was doing, but at least there's an image there. That was everything on those negatives. They're so cool. It's crazy to reflect on it now how back then I wouldn't have known how to use the light meter. I wouldn't have understood ISO. I definitely wouldn't have understood what stock was in there but yeah like i said this was the test roll that i put through the camera before i went away on my travels this is just a bit of a filler video for me just to look back on uh and sort of have an opportunity to to smile i guess and and, and reminisce but in fact actually i challenged anybody who watches this who potentially is a youtuber who makes videos go back to your first if you can go back to your first roll and make a video on your first roll and go through it and just see what it makes you feel see what you see tag me in it or send it to me because i'd be curious on what you guys think of your first film rolls also i found six rolls which i took through me through central america with this camera so straight after this we left canada and went traveling and some of those photographs were still to this day i feel like some of my best but also some of my worst. So if anyone wants to see another video like this, just comment or just send me a message, let me know and I'll make one of them. I'm gonna go let this cat in now because she's, she looks a bit sad. <laughs>